Hello dear viewer and welcome back to Outlanders on iOS with me, Jelanon. We're going to retry this level with Earl. Didn't work out terribly well last time. I think trying to have a population boom before we had enough farms going and uh, not enough infrastructure for eating. Yeah. Yeah. I think the eat less decree is the biggest issue and probably we just shouldn't do it okay so once again we want foragers up and we want to build fields first thing ignore everything but the fields want to do that bad worker actually no don't do that we need more builders. Okay. Prioritize. These fields are pretty important to get early, I think. Let's see, so three by three. Yoink. Yes. And this is the important field. Let's again prioritize it. Yes. Oh, we can still go. Okay. So I have one more line. Link. Perfect. What about you? Almost perfect. Oh, okay, we literally can't build there. Got it. Okay. What is this, a tree or a rock? Hmm. Yeah, that's not the best place to farm, but it's what we've got. We need more farmers. Soon. Okay, sawmill. Let's ignore the sawmill for now. We don't need planks yet. We got plenty of houses and stuff. We need the builders. We need the foragers. And then I'm gonna build another forager's hut later. Where are you again, forager's hut? Not there. Okay. Well, in that case, you're here, and I'm blind. Got it. Okay. We want to build that around here later for our little houses. Once again, we'll try to make these roads a little better. Maybe. I don't think it really matters. In fact, I probably shouldn't even put anything on there. We want to prioritize these fields. Prioritize these fields. It's too bad you can't select a lot of the fields. Um, once again, I think eat less is probably the worst thing to do. Uh, and having people decide to increase the population immediately didn't seem like a good idea either, so. Yeah. We don't have any lumberjacks going yet. But I don't think we want that. You know what? I'm also going to take away a forager tomorrow. Put them in the builder's place so we can finish these fields. And then we'll see how it goes. But yeah. Yeah. Hmm. But this is definitely a harder scenario than the previous ones. What are we doing on food? Okay. Yeah, and there aren't that many mushrooms left. So you know what? I'll do that. I'll take away one of these farmers. And hopefully, we'll get more builders and stuff. But thankfully, Looks like we've already got more fields than we had last time on day two. Yeah, and we don't need any new houses just yet, so don't need to worry about that. But for the future, we are going to want another tomato field somewhere. Like here.
so we'll think about it, but for now it's not a priority. In fact, the Forager's Hut is probably a bigger priority. So we'll think about doing that next. Thankfully we do have some wood in stock. Okay. I want to add some workers here. Do that. I didn't realize how fast those mushrooms went away. Apparently foragers are pretty good at what they do. Okay, we've got the one person there. And we'll remove one of these farmers from this farm that looks pretty well tilled. And hopefully they'll go to the foragers hut. Because we need those mushrooms. Gotta keep everybody fed until we get tons of tomatoes. And I think that stockpile is pretty good, honestly. Okay. People are still happy, that's good. Uh, we will do the Eat Less Decree for hopefully a little bit less than a day. Hmm. I don't think there's any other better places to forage other than. Aha! I take it back. Uh, let's see. Build that as well. Prioritize that building. And we've got roads. Yeah, we'll build that road. Then we will get rid of that. Add them to there. Okay. So yes, the Eat less decree definitely impacts your happiness. Hmm. Got two people on that farm, two people on that farm. Okay. Still got 21 people, but we may need to end the decree soon. Because you can't have three days of unhappiness, as far as I can tell. Right now, everybody's still happy, technically. Well, it's hard to make it grow. Okay, we want a couple workers here. Let's remove one of them from here. So we keep those mushrooms a little longer. Uh, we still got one person here, that seems to be working just fine. And then we can remove... Maybe... Take off the person from the sawmill. What about the lumberjack? Do we need that yet? I think not. We'll do that. Have our lumberjack become a forager instead. Then we're going to cancel that decree, I think, soon. Oh, actually, no. Hmm. We're out of food. Okay, so we're going to do that, too. Not a worker. Yoink. Yoink. Okay. So, actually, do we want to keep Eat Less going? I think we're going to cancel it. Uh, why would it let me cancel? Hmm. Hmm. Well, barnacles. Okay, then. We are building up a good stock. Or we were, I thought, but no, we're not. Okay. I take it back. Alright, maybe we need more farmers again. Let's remove. Let's see. One of these people. Two of these people. We have a baby. So that's good. We got more farmers again. Okay. Now we've got that. Should hopefully get some more mushrooms. And then we'll try to prioritize this next farm. And we'll try to make more tomato fields. Gotta get them tomatoes. Uh, 
it's hard to see. Oh, wait. <laughs> okay. So people are unhappy now, right? Yes. So, yeah, I don't know why it wouldn't let me cancel that. Okay, yeah. I guess you have to wait three days before you can cancel it. So, we have two more people. I'm going to make them builders initially so we can get more stuff built. And then we will try to remove some of the bad stuff. You know what, actually? Like, bad worker. Make me a farm worthy of Mordor! Which, of course, didn't have farms, so, you know, yeah, that's a bad idea. Okay, and happiness went back up. That's good. So, it is about having high enough happiness when you use eat less, apparently. So now we've got a bunch of tomatoes. The farms are starting to produce. Thank the Lord. And actually, no. Looks like about two foragers is what you want per area. Oh, good. We have some more people. All right, people. No more slacking. You're now adults. We expect you to do stuff. Okay. Let's build another stockpile, maybe. And another road. Road. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Road. Build that. Road. Do that. Let's build a new stockpile right around here, in case we need it. If we have our farmers moving less, hopefully they can farm more. In theory, that is what I am hoping. I wonder if that makes sense. We'll try it out. Okay. Do we have more than one builder right now? We do. How are we doing on the food? We are doing okay, so I'm not going to reassign them. Okay, in fact, I'm going to build some more. And farm some more. Okay. A baby was born. And we have, I think, what, 50 days? 40 days with 50 population or more, and we do want to build a quarry soon. So I'll put that out there. No idea if it's worthwhile or not, but yeah. Let's see. Road. Road. I'll do that. Okay, we've got, looks like, plenty of food over there, so we're going to declare to love each other and be happy people. So, yes, we've got plenty of tomatoes now. I have no idea if there's seasons that affect tomato growing. I'm going to add a worker. Okay, we're going to need lumberjacks. Where are you, lumberjacks? But yeah, we, you don't want to cut down those trees where the mushrooms are growing at first. Uh, lumberjack, add a worker, add another worker, and uh, then we want to build Lumberjack base right around here. So we're going to add this last person as another worker. Okay. And uh, then we can try to prioritize that, maybe get some more fields, but these farms are quite a bit more important, I think. Okay. Hmm. It is funny. It looks like they prioritize the soil around the farm if you put that out there first. So, didn't know that was a thing. Hmm. Well, great. Okay. Um, everybody's happy. We've got a good amount of food. Okay. 
So now we definitely need more houses. That's actually the next priority. And we want a nice house right around here. And I think we've got the planks right. No, we do not. So we do need more sawmill, potentially. Okay, I'll do that. This will become a priority after the next farm. So we'll do that next. As we are closely approaching our limit on population. Yeah, and we won't need to forage once we have enough farms. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and remove a couple farmers. Get at least one guy over here. Awesome. How many planks we got now? Only two, huh? Follower doesn't have a home? Three babies were born. Okay, wow. They really uh, liked my decree, apparently. Hmm. If I could cancel. Yeah, it doesn't cancel it. Until after you uh, have met that 72 hours. So it will always be a three day decree. Okay. I misunderstood. Okay. We almost have enough planks for that nice house. You know what? We should build a modest house too. There we go. And we'll prioritize that one after the nice house. And maybe they'll work on that if we have the uh, stuff for it. That's my hope. So let's see, if we don't have enough planks, will they? Oh, we do. Okay. But somebody is taking wood over there. Are they not the builders? Or maybe only three people can do that at a time? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, basically, the main difference between a nice house and a modest house is just the number of people that can live there. So nice houses are a better use of space. But if you don't have the full planks, then it kind of doesn't matter. Okay, we want to prioritize this next. Okay. And anybody at the quarry? Let's see, we have enough room for 36 people. We currently have 35. Wow. Yeah, I think we need to cancel the love each other decree. <laughs> you know what? You guys are too good at it. You're just too good at being wonderful people and taking care of your families. So, yeah, we're, uh, we're gonna say, you know... Just, uh, slow it down, chill out, you know, take a breather, relax, go on vacation, enjoy life. Hmm. So we could do that. How far would the lumberjack's cabin go? Would it go all the way to where I want it? It's a little bit better. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. We'll prioritize that one next. Nobody's at the Lumberjack place. Let's go ahead and take a builder or two away. Just one, I think, for now. We got farmers. Hmm. Let's take away... Well, they've got plenty of mushrooms still. What about over here? We'll take away one of those foragers. And I think probably the same over here, right? Yeah, I'll take away one of them as well. And then... Add another farmer. Okay. So, yes. Oh, actually, we want a quarry person, don't we? We don't have anybody at the quarry. Let's remove somebody from the sawmill. Put them into the quarry. Yeah. Yeah. There is no quarry. I take it back. Go back to the sawmill. Then we can build some more nice houses. Eventually. Nice house. It's a really nice house. Nice house. I think I want to leave this space for a farm. 
So we will start building over here. You like and could even build another one right here. We won't give them a view of the farm. Yeah, you actually don't need to build more stockpiles, but I think, once again, it might be more efficient to actually have a stockpile over here. Hmm. Weirdly enough. It's not a valid position, eh? Okay, and apparently won't let you rearrange it to a valid position if you start from a bad one. Good enough. Hmm. Let's build a stockpile right there eventually. Okay, we've got 40 housing and 37 population right now. I don't think you need to use that decree more than like once. We're getting enough population. Just an opinion. Okay. Do you want to prioritize you? Apparently it takes a while to build the quarry. Okay, and then once we do, we'll take off one of these guys, put them in the quarry. Hmm. Maybe take off one of the farmers? Much as I don't like doing that. Where else are they going? The lumber places, maybe? Which would make sense. Okay, yeah, we got plenty of that. Got a couple people there. And add another forager. Yeah. Okay. So how are we doing? This person is done. So you can go back to a farm. Going to destroy that. And then we will build a farm there in the future. This place, we can add a worker in the future. And same for the builders, maybe. I don't think you really need more than one builder's house. Hmm. I mean, it'd be nice, don't get me wrong, but you have to be able to feed those builders. And it is worth keeping at least one person in the forager's huts because the mushrooms seem to repopulate well enough. And it looks like villagers will go after mushrooms first. But we do need more tomatoes again. The timeline on that is clear. And we need more farmers. In the future. Okay, we have enough for 46 people. Now we can build another house. Right around there. Now what? I am going to build another lumberjack's base. Get rid of these three trees. This is a surgical strike on the trees. For the people. Okay. What else can we do? Well, we want more farmers, clearly. They are more efficient at getting food than the foragers. And we are running low on food, so... I think we're going to have to declare eating less, which is terrible. We have 40 people, so we have an extra house, but having another house soon would be good. But for now, they're building stuff. Which is fine. You know what? We'll actually get rid of that and just keep our two builders. But yeah, it looks like the eat less thing will decrease your happiness at least 30% most likely, if the last use of it was any uh, indicator. Hmm. Well, at least we had some food left at the end of the day. Well, it looks like we may need to add more foragers on again. Maybe? No, that's not the best position for it. Not even enough mushrooms. Over here, 
still have that many, so we can do that. I'm trying not to cut those trees. And up here... Honestly, we should probably move it further back. But oh well. And this lumberjack's cabin isn't useful anymore. So we should destroy it. And build... Another farm and fields. Yep. Tomato field. Something like that. So we want to prioritize that building. And we can add people to those farms still. And then, do we have anybody at the quarry? Yes, we do. We can go ahead and take one of them off. Hmm. Are they actually putting... Oh, I don't know. Soil. Oh, that's still soil. Okay. Let's maybe build a stockpile there for the rock people. Because you guys rock. Yeah, literally. Okay. So yeah, we're at 74% now. So that's a decrease of maybe 10% a day. We'll see by the end of the last day. Okay. Anything else we need? Clearly though, food becomes the biggest bottleneck. Because farms have a rotation of time, so having huge stockpiles of stuff is pretty important. Um, where do we want our next stockpile at? Hmm. Perhaps we need one closer to the village. Let's try something like that. Yeah, we are at 66%. And... Okay, we are getting tomatoes again. Oh, they're just piling them over here. Hmm. I was freaking out for nothing, it looks like. But I'm not so sure. I think we're only getting that many because the cycle of farming went back through again. So I think you need enough farms just so you have enough rotation of the timing of crops. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's still doing its work. This one is still doing some work, but we don't need that person there. Got another baby. Okay, we still got 16 or 15 days. I guess 15 days, really. To get eight more people. We got another worker. Got more farms. And these are fully staffed. Let's try to get another person at the quarry in the future. Get rid of one of the foragers. Yeah, two of the foragers. And we should get somebody at the quarry, yep. So, in that case, how many rocks have we gotten? Any? Uh, eight is what it looks like. So, we can't directly interact with the leader's house. So I think we're good. Okay. And yeah, my guess is you can support probably 10 pop per farm. So we do want to build, I think, one more farm. You only need four people to work it, so you can support probably around six people. We can go over here. It's not perfect, but it'll work. Let's go over here. Okay. Yeah. 
then we can build the field at the very end. There we go. Build more farms. And we can build more lumberjacks bases and stuff. Build that there. And eventually they'll clear out the things that are blocking. Yeah, so that's where the micromanagey bits come into this town simulator. But hey, we're doing it. We got 44 people in town. Uh, the question is, do we now have enough food? It looks like we do. I am not convinced, but we're just going to do it. Because once we get 15 rocks and enough people, it shouldn't matter. And we've got 10 rocks. Maybe you get a, a rock a day per person or something. Hmm. Oh, yeah. We got Fred. Okay. Prioritize that. We had another baby board. We do have enough housing. Yeah, we've even overbuilt. Technically speaking. And we can build another farm if we so desire. Right around here, eh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely not the most <laughs> efficient farm. But oh well. Okay, we destroyed a couple of those lame lumberjacks cabins that were no longer necessary. We got that. And then we'll build some more new ones. Like this guy still doing anything? No. So we can destroy that. That'll be some more land, even though, really, eh, we don't need it. But we could build some houses there as another housing district. So two followers are unemployed, eh? Build more! Three kids grew into adults. Okay, and then we can have some to go to the quarry later. They're not using that stockpile, are they? Hmm. Weird. Okay, now we're at 52 population. So, still got another day of that. We still have plenty of housing, so I'm not going to worry about building any more. We've got 13 of our 15 that we're looking for in the quarry rocks. So, yeah. I think we're pretty good. And the foragers should still be doing some decent enough work that I'm not going to remove them. Two followers are unemployed. Well, then get to work. Become useful. We'll prioritize this farm. Because it's the closest to town. And they're still doing that, so we're not going to wreck that. Okay, we still have our sawmill guy, who's slowly building up these planks. Okay. Oh, and we can definitely add fields here. Mistakes were made. Okay. Yep, build that. We'll prioritize these next. Because this is a fully staffed farm, and we don't even have a full field. And, uh, no, I cannot build anything there. Okay, weird. Alright. I was going to try to make that field better, but nope. Nope, nope. So we've got 16. We don't need that many people at the quarry anymore. You can go away. I'll go ahead right there. Alright. Do we have four builders? Yes, we do. We could make another builder's house, but really there's no point. We now have 56 people. I might build more houses just because. 
Wrong thing. Let's see. Nice house. Just because we can. And then what else do we need? So we did the optional. Oh, we still have to survive for 40 days. Got it. So we do want to cancel that because more people means more mouths to feed. And while we currently have enough food, yeah, we are running low again. So yeah. I had a worker. Oh good. Four kids grew into adults. And prioritize that. And we can build another builder's house. Which we have never done. And I'm surprised we are thinking about it. But we're going to do it. There we go. And we really don't need anybody else there. Uh, these guys are still doing good work. They're done. They're done. What about you? You're done. This forager's hut is kind of useless now. Let's add that guy there. Uh, still getting stuff, technically, but... Yeah, no. Destroy that. And then once we finish that builder's other house, we'll have another builder. Four more kids grew into an adult. Okay. Uh, for now... Why not? We'll just do all that. So everybody's at that farm. And once this is finished, add workers there. So this forager's hut. Well, we can still have people all working there. Oh, that's not good. Now people are going hungry. Okay, decree. Eat less. So we basically know, I wasn't paying as much attention the second time around, but it's around 30% decrease in happiness. Okay. And people are getting hungry again. Yeah. Let's have people there. So let's remove some of these builders. Okay. Can do that as well. Got everybody on that farm. Everybody on that one. So yeah, farms? I don't know. They're weird. Because you have to time them well. Okay, we can put this right here for maximum benefit. Actually, too far. Three by three, basically. Yes. I think I might have overbuilt it a little bit to the south, but that's okay. Okay, and I wonder if anybody's ever going to move that wood or not. Hmm. And we don't need the quarry at all anymore. I was leaving that guy there since it seemed fine at the time. Okay. Yeah, we've got 60 people. Decrees. Don't need people increasing the population anymore. Nope. So I guess at this point, <laughs> yeah, we just uh, want to hold steady. Oh wow, and we still had a baby born. Okay. Hmm. Alright, I should be destroying that tree as well. Where are you, Lumberjacks? Kevin? No. Lumberjacks base. Ah, there's too many roads there. What about right here? Nope. So, it looks like you want to destroy that before you build your fields and stuff. Okay, that makes sense. 
Mm. No, we're not going to build that then. We are going to prioritize farms. Getting people to feed themselves better. Oh. We never finished building those fields. I'm going to pause that. Build these fields. Let the farmers work. Build these fields. Let them work. I add some builders. Everybody that foragers up. What about over here? Yep. Oh, well, you can work at the quarry then. Be happy. Hmm. Follower is hungry. Yes, we know. Okay, now we can cancel it. But I don't know if we have the food. Hmm. Doesn't look like it. Yeah. So it seems like you do still need a good balance of mushrooms and tomatoes. Because I was thinking the tomatoes were just purely better, but... <sighs> Clearly, you still need a short-term food supply while you are waiting for stuff to grow back on your fields. And your builders are weird about priorities and won't finish building the tomato fields if you don't make them. Which is kind of annoying. Because we really need more fields. So during the night, I'm literally just going to prioritize the fields. Do it. Do it, do it. Okay, so at least we'll get some more fields out there. Uh -huh. Prioritize, prioritize, prioritize. Priorities must be put in order. Please, please and thank you. Well, we're about to have too many people. So I will build another house. Nice house or two. Just in case. I think we already had one already set. Well, yeah, yeah. That's a thing. On the bright side, full employment. You know, people are happy. Hippie, hippie, hippie. Followers and employed. Okay, well. Speak of it, and it shall not be true. No more. Prioritize that field. Prioritize that field. Now, uh, where can you work? Does it even matter? We got how many builders? Just the four? Can we build another? Oh, we didn't yet. We'll prioritize that next. Uh, go ahead and work at the quarry. Be happy. Okay. Definitely want hands off. Um, I think we're still good. We actually had a little bit of food left over, so as long as we keep producing at a similar rate, we should be okay. Hmm. Why won't you guys finish the farms? I know I told you to also build another builder's house, but, you know, life. Life wants me to tell you to eat. And to eat, you need to grow food. Okay, so we built another builder's house, right? Just go ahead and leave those positions there, because we need people working on building those fields. Okay, so the sawmill. I don't think we need more than one person there. 
plums, we are happy. What else do we need? Uh, pause. I take it back, we need the fields. Give me more fields. Okay. Currently have 63 people. So we're one away from our current limit. Okay, and we will say eat less again. Wow. Okay then. Hmm. This is a long map. But we have everything we need once we reach. Yay, there we go. <laughs> Whew. Crisis of Verde. Yeah. So we did all that. Next map will be Jebediah. Thanks for watching, dear viewer. I hope you've enjoyed Outlanders on Apple Arcade, and have a great day.